Welcome to another video on Ancient Civilization Fatherhood series. In today's video we will talk about hunter-gatherer societies and fatherhood. We'll explore the fascinating and often surprising role of fathers in these ancient cultures. From teaching survival skills to passing down traditions, fathers and hunter-gatherer societies played a critical role in shaping the lives of their children. But what was fatherhood really like in these societies? Was it all sunshine and rainbows, or was there a darker side to this important role? In this video, we'll dive deep into the complexities of fatherhood in hunter-gatherer societies, exploring both the good and the bad aspects of this crucial relationship. So buckle up and get ready to explore the truth behind one of humanity's oldest institutions. Fatherhood played a critical role in the survival of hunter-gatherer societies. Fathers were not only responsible for providing for their families, but also for passing down essential survival skills to their children. This included teaching them how to hunt, fish, gather food, build shelter, and navigate their environment. Without this knowledge, their children's chances of survival would have been slim. Fathers also played a significant role in passing down cultural traditions, including music, dance, and storytelling, which were central to the fabric of their society. But fatherhood in hunter-gatherer societies wasn't just about survival skills and traditions. Fathers also had a critical role to play in nurturing emotional bonds with their children. They spent a great deal of time with their children, often carrying them on their backs while they hunted or gathered food. This close physical contact helped to establish strong emotional connections between fathers and their children. One important aspect of fatherhood in many hunter-gatherer societies is child initiation procedures. These rituals are designed to mark the transition of a child from infancy to adulthood and often involve a series of tests or challenges that the child must complete in order to prove their strength, resilience, and readiness to join the adult community. Initiation ceremonies may vary widely between different societies, but some common practices include scarification, tattooing, piercing, vision quests, and physical challenges such as endurance tests or hunts. These ceremonies can be physically and emotionally challenging for children, but are seen as an important rite of passage and a way of instilling important cultural values and traditions. While the specifics of child initiation procedures may vary, the role of fathers in guiding and supporting their children through these rites of passage is often central. Fathers may act as mentors, providing guidance and support as their children face these challenges and helping them to develop the skills and resilience necessary to succeed. Now that we've explored the positive side of fatherhood in hunter-gatherer societies, let's dive into the dark side. But be warned, what we uncover might surprise you. From the treatment of women to the perpetuation of gender inequality, these ancient societies had their flaws. So buckle up and prepare to be challenged as we confront the truth about fatherhood in hunter-gatherer societies. While fathers played a critical role in the survival and emotional development of their children in hunter-gatherer societies, there was also a darker side to fatherhood in these communities. One of the most troubling aspects was the treatment of women. In many hunter-gatherer societies, women were relegated to subservient roles and treated as property. Fathers played a significant role in perpetuating gender inequality by enforcing these societal norms and passing them down to their children. Girls were often married off at a young age, and their fathers had the final say in choosing their partners. They were also subjected to genital mutilation, which was seen as a necessary rite of passage in some societies. Fathers also had a role in disciplining their children, and in some cases, this discipline could be severe. Physical punishment, including beatings, was not uncommon. This could lead to strained relationships between fathers and their children, and in extreme cases, could lead to abuse. Finally, there were instances where fathers outright abandoned their children, leaving them to fend for themselves. While this was not the norm, it did occur in some hunter-gatherer societies. These instances were often the result of circumstances beyond the father's control, such as illness or death. In conclusion, fatherhood and hunter-gatherer societies had both positive and negative aspects. On one hand, fathers played a critical role in passing down survival skills and traditions to their children, as well as nurturing emotional bonds. On the other hand, there were instances of abuse, abandonment, and the perpetuation of gender inequality. While we cannot and should not romanticize or excuse the negative aspects of fatherhood in these societies, we can still learn from their strengths. For example, the focus on passing down essential skills to the next generation is a valuable lesson in our modern world. Additionally, the emphasis on emotional bonds and connection between fathers and children is something we can all strive to emulate. It's important to take a nuanced view of these societies and recognize that they were not perfect. But, by examining their successes and challenges, we can gain a deeper understanding of the complexities of human societies throughout history. As we reflect on the role of fathers in hunter-gatherer societies, let us also consider how we can apply these lessons in our own lives. 
Whether it's passing down important skills to our children or fostering emotional connections, we all have the power to be positive influences in the lives of those around us. So let's take inspiration from the strengths of these ancient societies and strive to be the best fathers we can be. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the complex nature of fatherhood in hunter-gatherer societies. It's important that we continue to learn from our past and strive towards a better future. If you found this video insightful, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a comment below with your thoughts and feedback. Together, we can continue to explore the fascinating and sometimes challenging realities of our human history. Thanks for watching.